Um, hello, this is Fatima. In this tutorial, I will be attacking a Windows 10 virtual machine with Metasploit using Kali Linux. So, the first thing we want to do is to make sure that the network adapter is set to bridged on both our machines. This will allow us to later on share the payload that we will be creating. So, I'm running Oracle VirtualBox. To do that, simply click, uh, click on the virtual machine, click on settings, go to network and make sure that it is attached to bridged adapter. Uh, you want to do that on both of your machines. Um, do the same thing for the Windows Virtual Machine. Make sure it's set to bridge adapter and click on OK. So the next thing we want to do is to create the payload. So the payload is executable file that is holding our virus. Once the user executes this file, our attack will be successful and we, will, we would have compromised the Windows machine. So in order to create that, ex, uh, that payload, open the um, terminal and run the following command. This will instruct msvenom to generate a 32-bit Windows executable file that implements a reverse TCP connection for the payload. The format must be specified to be exe, and the local host and the l host, uh, the l host and the local port l port have to be defined. So in our in our case, the local host is the IP address of our attacking Kali Linux machine. To find your l host, simply open a new terminal, type in the following command: sudo ifconfig eth0, type in your password, and this will be your L host. Um, the L port is the port to listen to on for a connection from the target once it has been compromised. So now type in your um, password for Kali, wait for Kali to create the file. Alright, so now msvenom tells us that the file was created successfully and saved into the di directory that we specified here. So now, the next thing we want to do is to start the exploit. To start Metasploit, uh, type in msfconsole and wait for it to start. It takes a little while. There we go. Okay, so now we want to tell Metasploit to use the generic payload handler multi-handler multi using the command use multi slash handler. And then we will set the payload to match the one that we set to Zinda executable using the command set payload windows slash metroperator slash reverse underscore tcp. Uh, we will then set the lhost and the lport using the commands set lhost 192.168.1.112 set lport 444 and now we just uh, type in exploit to start the exploit uh, the reverse TCP handler starts now waiting for the connection so now the next thing we want to do is to move the payload we created in step 1 to our Windows virtual machine so to do that, open a new terminal, navigate to the um, directory that we saved the payload to. I saved it in desktop payload, and there is the file. And type in this following command, python sudo python-m simple http server. Uh, now this will allow us to share files in between devices that are on the same network. Now simply open your um, Windows machine, open a new browser, and go to the IP address of our Kali machine. Here is a file, just have to download it, save it, and run it. So... This will, um, the executable causes the payload to be executed and connect back to the attacking Kali uh, Linux machine. Immediately, we receive a metropreter session on our Kali machine. Now we have access to that virtual machine. We can, for example, create a new directory, make their, um, create, uh, make their directory created from Kali. 
we'll go to our machine to the windows and there it is hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching